This little guy, or big guy, however you look at it, is a little bit more complicated. This, uh, this laser has been around for quite some time, and this is a Hewlett Packard, which is kind of the pioneer of lasers. They actually became uh, pretty famous with their laser jet series, and many of us have seen these workhorses in our office. I mean, they've been incredible. You can leave these guys running forever, it seems, and they never break. Laser technology is actually a laser being printed and being actually used to design the page. One of the differences between lasers and the other printers we've seen is these other printers actually print characters. They're actually just printing characters at a time. They really aren't printing an entire page. The big difference with lasers is that they're actually grabbing an entire page from your software, an entire page from, your, from whatever program you're printing, and it's waiting for that entire page and saying, hey, let me grab that page, let me put it into the printer's memory, which usually is a large amount, and, and, it's, and it's growing every day. I've seen some printers today with 12 megabytes of memory. That's incredible. Almost some PCs don't even have that. So these printers can actually grab the entire page, bring it into the printer, and then process one entire page at a time. They have to. They're so fast. They're doing, some of these guys are doing 17 pages per minute. They don't have the time to be waiting for little characters. So the entire page is sent to the printer. Sometimes we'll even see an out of memory uh, error because we've sent so many pages that the printer can't handle that. So if you, <laughs> some of you have seen errors in the front and definitely there's a LED here in the front. I'm going to change this a little bit around. Bring this up here in the front. I'm going to move this out of the way. And you could see that there's an LED right here in the front if we could focus. Give you a lot of information here and kind of tell you what's going on in the printer. And it's got a, little, a lot of little functions up here. Now, this printer, this laser, uh, you may have seen some smaller ones, and they, they actually are not using laser. They're using uh, LEDs, which are a little bit different, light emitting diodes. But this in particular does use a laser. And I'm going to try to pull this open and bring this open. Okay, and I'm going to pull out the actual toner and drum, which is in here. This is a complete package, as you can see. And we're going to actually look at a slide here in a minute and tell you what's actually happening in here. But this is a great, incredible piece of material a piece of equipment. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing how they did this. And it's, uh, you can replace these entire, some of these we just only replace the toner cartridge in here. Some of them we replace the entire drum, depending on how and what different manufacturers and what they actually did. But the actual truth is if, if we have to replace the toner, usually we should replace the drum because by then we've used the drum so often that you're not going to get the perfect original drum and the real good quality that you need. S most of these printers give you very high resolution they give you high speed. They're uh, actually the paper, it, they only print in black and white, by the way. They're not color. That's why most of us are shifting over to inkjet. But most offices will have a laser on hand. Definitely for you know, very good quality letters, very good quality graphs. We want to have a laser around. They're very fast. Now let's kind of take a look at this slide and you'll see what's inside the laser. We're going to go through the different stages of the laser printer. Now, folks, follow me here. It can get a little confusing, a little complicated. But don't worry. This is really simple. Once, you, once you, we go through this and we see how the process goes, how the actual laser works, how the paper gets the toner on it, it's going to be very simple. Let's start off with number one, which is basically the cleaning. When we start up a laser printer, we actually are, when it starts warming up, everything starts twisting and turning in there. It's actually cleaning cleaning that drum, cleaning that main drum in the middle. And it actually what it, it's doing is it's using a uh, fluorescent light just to erase any particles that originally were in the drum. And we're going to show a drum a little bit later here. So just follow me here on the slide. Also, as we go, as this toner starts turning and, and turning its wheel, we keep going and it's, it's going to need a charge. We're going to need a charge, a negative charge, using something called a primary corona. And it's actually conditioning the charge, conditioning the, the drum. So what it's doing is it's, it's giving a negative charge of 600 volts to that actual drum. And this is done through the primary corona. Moving on to the next stage, as this drum keeps turning, well, we've all heard it's a laser printer, and we're wondering, where's the laser come in? Well, here, here's where the laser comes in. The laser actually charges that same drum with a negative 100 volts. It's actually writing on that drum. It's getting uh, that information that it took from the computer. It's, it's, it's got actually converted all this information so that the laser can use it. And now it's actually shooting right onto that drum with like, like a pinpoint accuracy. The laser, as we all know, lasers are very pinpoint. They're very accurate. And it's shooting a negative 100 volts onto that. And it's writing the image right onto that drum. And as we continue into to the fourth level here, the fourth stage we can call it, 
we're, we're going to do a transfer of toner. Well, toner is actually like a carbon, carbon particles with a little bit of plastic residue on there. And it's really interesting because toner, as we've seen, it looks like a powder. Many of us have seen this black powder. We've opened up the laser and we see the black powder. Well, on this level, we'll actually, on this stage, we'll actually see a transfer of the toner from where it's actually located in a little section with this little drum. It'll, it'll actually keep a, a regular charge and it'll come right over to that drum and it'll attach itself to the a negative 100 volts right on that uh, actual drum and it's actually that that toner will stick to where that laser has written on the drum as it keeps going it keeps turning and turning at this point the print the paper is coming through the laser it's being pushed in and that's when you all see the, the actual paper you hear the movement and you hear the paper being pulled in on the bottom on stage number five or level five right that section there's a transfer of image to the paper. Well, how does that happen? Well, there's another corona wire on the bottom, and this will give it a positive charge, as opposed to the negative original 600 charge that was on the top with a primary corona. These are different wires. Well, on the bottom, we have a positive charge with what we call a transfer corona. And what it does is it'll charge the paper with a positive charge and actually pull from that drum. It'll pull that toner right off that drum, exactly where it's located, right to the paper. And that's very interesting. It's almost amazing how it flies right off that drum. It'll fly off the drum right into the paper. The paper will continue moving through. And actually, when it goes through that section, it'll go to, to stage number six, which at that point, the electrical charge is pulled off that paper. The toner and the paper are together. And then we need some way of fusing them together. So we will fuse at that point. We'll heat up that paper. We'll actually like melt the toner right onto the paper. And many times we've seen that that we pulled out the paper before it's gone through that stage and heck we see the toner just fly off or it just falls right off well we haven't gone through the fuser so now you know exactly how it's put together and how it's fused together we gotta see that this is an incredible process and it happens at 17 pages per minute now I wanna show you here what an actual drum looks like many of you maybe have pulled it out maybe I've pulled out this drum out of a, out of a laser well let's take a look at that one here I have an HP and I might actually open up the printer real slowly here let me pull this out in there. You've got to be very cautious of this because this drum is very sensitive to light, especially, and to any fingerprints. So I'm going to pull this around here real slowly, and I'll show you. This is the actual drum unit, and it actually has toner in it, too. And if I pull this open, oh, here we go. Here's the actual drum. Uh, if you touch this, folks, you just can say goodbye to this because fingerprints or any kind of real heavy-duty light will actually damage this, and that, that's what the amazing process is. That's why... We can charge this up. We can, we can actually put the toner on this. So be careful when you're playing with this. The toner is very, very sensitive. This drum is also very sensitive. So just be careful when you put this in. So as you can see, laser printers are very sensitive machines, and they are also complicated piece of material. But we can, we can learn how the process works, and it will definitely be part of the exam.